Well, continuing to find more of these just disgusting individuals at the International House of Prayer. The latest one, Bob Hartley, a self-proclaimed prophet, somebody who was a great friend of Mike Bickle. And actually, Hartley is somebody who really helped to fund the International House of Prayer and getting the, you know, the prayer building there for Bickle in the beginning. Someone that has stuck by his side you know, through thick and thin. I mean, even recently, he was defending Bickle at every single turn uh, you know, over the allegations against him. And it's quite funny that he did because now everything about Hartley is coming out as well, which has now led him to be permanently banned from the prayer room. That's all great. Here's the problem. Why did it take this long for it to happen? We're going to get into all of this here. There's a lot to talk about. So stick with me. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? There's a couple of ways you could do it. One easy way, just click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. Doesn't matter how small or how big. Or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. With that, you also get exclusive links on Patreon to these topics we discuss and, well, I got to include them over there now, just the way things are going now on YT, I can't take any chances. So they'll be for you on Patreon. Also there, comment censorship free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again, patreon.com slash not by site news, link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. All right, there's a lot to get into here. You know, we just keep, you know, exposing more and more, which is good because we know that God is doing a deep clean right now throughout the body of Christ. And uh, he is really uh, exposing the big mega churches, the mega ministries, you know, the so-called prophets and pastors. All of them are being brought down. Individuals that have been engaging in inappropriate behavior for decades. And look, and we knew this, that it wasn't just Mike Bickle that there were several other IHOP KC leaders that were doing the same exact things that he was doing. And, you know, it shouldn't be a surprise that really none of this was ever handled properly to begin with when reports were originally brought to leaders about that inappropriate behavior. So now we have Bob Hartley. Now, again, I talked about this at the top. Bob Hartley is somebody who uh, has been a, a partner with IHOP KC for quite some time. He's in, you know, he's, he's taught there. Again, he calls himself a prophet. You know, he was somebody who was a, you know, a respected leader around there for quite some time. <laughs> Although, in light of what's now coming out, that is not going to be the case anymore. And, you know, we have to thank Michelle Seidler because she is somebody who used to teach with Bob over at IHOP KC. And she has really been exposing a lot of this inappropriate behavior of Hartley by uh, survivors of his, uh, who have spoken with her, sent her text messages, screenshots, videos, audio, everything having to do with Hartley and his tactics of manipulation of trying to reel these survivors in for his own gain. Now, I talked a little bit about this in a video that I did the other day. Some of you may have seen that, but now we have even more info that's come out even since then. And you have to understand that Hartley was even still sending uh, the inappropriate messages to these survivors even just a few days ago. In fact, he was in the IHOP KC prayer room leading prayer just a few days ago as well. In fact, the same day that he was still sending messages to some of these survivors. Uh, you, you want to talk about just a sick person. And, and here's the thing. Why, why did IHOP KC even let him in there? You know, I say that because for Michelle Seidler, she is somebody who has been reporting 
on everything about Hartley since 2016 about how he was a problem, he was engaging in inappropriate behavior. But it wasn't until just recently that she started putting out the receipts because for these survivors, they were sending all of this over to her and then she has now been putting it out on Facebook, she's been putting it out on Instagram and good for her. But even Seidler says that, you know, Bob's behavior was reported multiple times in the past, but in typical IHOP KC fashion, they did nothing about it. Remember, Hartley and Mike Bickle, thick as thieves. So, of course, why would it be handled properly when you have those two paired together? They're both doing the same things. So now, in light of all of this, you know, evidence that's come out, Eric Valls took to social media and he announced that, in fact, yes, Bob Hartley is permanently banned from the IHOP KC 24-7 prayer room going forward in light of everything that has now come out. Remember, he was just leading prayer a few days ago. And this is again, just this just boggles my mind. The fact that this guy was doing all this stuff and, and he still, even a few days ago, was there. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. And I will echo, and I got a lot more to get into, but I will echo something that I said Time and time again, IHOP KC needs to be shut down permanently. Forget just banning individuals like, you know, Hartley from the prayer room. Take the whole thing down now. Because for all this talk about, oh, we need to be able to heal and everything like, you know what? You shut IHOP KC down, then maybe, just maybe then we could actually get some healing because the longer that place stays open, and operational, all it is going to do is continuously bring up these bad memories of what these leaders have done to so many people. I don't care. You can talk about making structural changes to the organization, everything that Kurt Fuller is working on behind the scenes right now, you know, trying to somehow restore International House of Prayer as if it was somehow righteous from the beginning, and we know it it wasn't. You just it's just not gonna happen. So again, I, I just think that the whole thing has to be completely shut down. Now, here's something I want to touch on because uh, there was audio and video that has now been released of Hartley. And I am going to have this clip. It's going to be available only over on my Patreon. And again, it's because of the nature of what we're discussing and talking about here. I'm not going to include it on YT. I just, I can't take any chances. So it'll be for you at patreon.com slash not by site news. And if you're already a part of that, great. You guys are already getting this content. If not, why not sign up, guys? I mean, you could do it for as little as five bucks a month. You get all this content. You help my ministry out. Uh, it's it's a great deal. Uh, so it'll be up for you over there. And of course, if you want to bless this ministry by just clicking the super thanks button on this video here, you can do that as well. And, and that blesses us greatly as well. So uh, in this clip, and again, I, I went through this. I, I listened to it. You got Hartley, who is, you know, leaving this this message seemingly for some un, some unnamed person. And he's talking about how I can get you the money, not a problem. Oh, so we know what he was doing there. I'll get you the money. And he's talking about, you know, the place where he's at. It's got an incredible view. You're going to love it. I mean, the, the couches, the fireplace, all of it. I mean, it's just a great environment for us to get to know each other a little bit. Uh, all set. And the guy, I mean, sounds ill too. I mean, just you listen to him talk and everything. He don't sound right. It sounds like he smokes about six packs of cigarettes a day. Um, but interesting left about his mental fitness. I'll, I'll talk more about that too in a second. Uh, but, but I mean, just laying it out here in this clip, tr trying to, you know, you know, bring this survivor in. That's what I'm calling them because they are. Okay. So I, I always refer to them in any, any individual who has been a part of inappropriate behavior by any so-called ministry or church leader, I, I always refer to them again as survivors because of that. So in case you were wondering, uh, but he, he lays it all out here. There's the evidence is right there trying to bring them in and, 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 and trap them like this. Oh, I got the money. No problem. You need, how much do you need? 
And again, that will be on my Patreon. You can listen to that in full. And again, it is really going to highlight who this guy is, okay? Now, Hartley had his own ministry as well. Hartley Hope Ministries. <laughs> Har I, you should call it Hardly Hope Ministries because there is no hope when it comes to this individual, Bob Hartley. None whatsoever. Uh, in fact, here's something else that's interesting because there's just so much. Apparently... Bob had been staying with Mike Bickle's son, Luke, as of late. Bunk it up with him, I guess, because maybe no one else wants to be around the guy. So, of course, he's still, you know, good friends with the Bickles. And this reportedly was all put out there by Hartley's own son, Jedediah, who said that his father had been staying with Luke Bickle as of late. But get this. This is what they were working on. Hartley was working on recruiting individuals to be a part of a restoration team for Mike Bickle. They're already working in the background, in the shadows, trying to get Mike Bickle back in ministry. Did I, didn't I not say this was going to happen? I said Mike Bickle's not just going to sit on the shelf, right, while this whole investigation plays itself out. No, 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 no. He wants to get back into ministry, or I'm sorry, manipulation, I should say, as soon as possible because of this. And this sounds very familiar to Johnny Hunt, who is a, the former uh, president of the Southern Baptist Convention. He had a team of pastors. This is just random. I talked about this months ago on another video. And they, they come out with a statement and they deemed that Johnny was fit to return to ministry because they apparently put him through some sort of a restoration plan. They never said what it was. We we're just supposed to take it as gospel, believe it, and... Bam, Johnny's back in churches again, preaching all across the country. Just like that. that. That's what this reminds me of. So so Hartley was recruiting a restoration team for Mike Bickle to put him back in ministry. Well, I would really love to know who was a part of this restoration team. I mean, was it Stuart Greaves and David Slyker? I mean, you know, now that they're, well, supposedly gone from IHOP KC, it makes you wonder. Now, Hartley himself has responded. Let me just say, this guy, based off everything that I have seen, uh, and, and it is, and I, of course, you know why I use the term inappropriate behavior, and you know what I'm, I'm really referencing when I say that, but he has been involved. There's at least 12 women, okay, that have come forward. At least 12, and there's probably a lot more, and maybe more we're going to contact Michelle Seidler, and she's, she's going to maybe put out more information, uh, show more receipts, but... He has reportedly been engaged in every type of inappropriate behavior that you can think of. Every, not just one, every type. And he's reportedly done this for decades again. But Hartley spoke about this. And he acknowledged that that video, which again, I, I have it on my Patreon for you right now. He says, that was a broken man that you, yeah, you don't say. A broken man. And he says that he has repented for that. Oh, has he? Because he was still sending inappropriate messages just a few days ago, the same day that he was leading prayer in the prayer room. And, and his tactics too, by the way, they match Mike Bickle because he is somebody too that has used prophecy to reel these survivors in. Oh, the Lord has shown me that you need to be with me because of this. It's just such a sick tactic that they use and they take advantage of of, you know, these survivors because they think that, oh, well, this is a man of God. They call themselves a prophet. So what they're saying must be true. I, I should probably do what they say. It's just disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. But Hartley said that although that video is out there and all this other evidence is being put out there against him, he actually had the nerve to say that, well, you see, the password for my social media, it's pretty easy to figure out. And so I'm sure that somebody who doesn't like me figured out my password and is basically framing me here and putting all this stuff out here about me that's not true. Okay. <laughs> it's like, you know, I, I'm a broken man, but, but, but so many of these things that I'm being accused of, I didn't really do. Uh, and again, it's because my password is so easy to access and anybody can have got in there and just put this stuff out. No, 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 no. Nice try. And, and, and by the way, and I'll say this too, 
because for anybody that defends people like Hartley, because uh, trust me, I've seen him. I have seen him defending Bickle, defending all these, you know, these just disgusting fake phonies. I want to say other things, but I can't for obvious reasons. When we talk about repenting, because I talk about it on all my videos, as I always, you know, give an altar call, so to speak, for people to receive Christ. When you are engaging in patterns of sin, that's a lot different by when you, you know, you sin, you mess up. Okay. You, you realize, wow, you know, I, I really, you know, I made a mistake here. Uh, I was involved in, in, in a behavior that's not becoming of somebody who is a leader, a pastor, a prophet, whatever you want to call yourself. And then when you repent, you turn from the sin, which means to leave it behind. You don't go back to it. You don't, you don't just the next day go back out there and start doing the same things again, sending messages and pictures and everything else that Hartley was doing. No. But this guy did this and repeated the pattern for decades, decades. Do you know what that means? This is not somebody who was a man of God. You talk about restoration. How do you restore someone who never walked with the Lord to begin with? Think about it. Again, patterns. These are individuals who do not fear the Lord. They take advantage of his name. They, they use titles to help with their own agendas that they have. But they're not true men of God. No. These are sick and twisted individuals that have no business in a ministry whatsoever. And I can tell you this, that Bob Hartley, he won't be the last that we're going to talk about coming out of IOPKC. You know there's going to be a lot more. And I will say it again. Shut this thing down. Shut it down. Who knows how many more individuals are coming into the prayer room like Hartley and are leading prayers and are doing the same exact things. Oh, it's going to, it's all going to come out, ladies and gentlemen. I've said a lot here. Um, and no doubt I'm going to have a lot more to say. There's just, there's just so much more. Uh, but I've gone on long enough here. I'll remind you again, if you want to check out that uh, that video of Hartley uh, talking to this survivor uh, I, that will be on my Patreon at patreon.com slash notbysightnews, and that link is in the description. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours. And Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash news. link in the description or just hit the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.